Hello and welcome back to A Humble Look at Demon Turf. A Humble Look at is the series where we take a blind look at the games included in the month's Humble Choice Bundle. And this time we are taking a look at Demon Turf and my god, what the hell is that music? Oh boy. So, I haven't even looked at the Steam Store page for this game. Um... Well, let's... I'll turn the volume up here, but I may reduce it dramatically in post. So, what up? We have Demon Turf and Demon Turf Tower. So, Demon Turf for everyone. And then Demon Turf Tower for skilled players. So, what is Demon Turf? Join Beebs in her ambitious goal of taking over the Demon World one turf at a time. Become the Demon Queen herself in this large adventure. Well, I guess there's nothing else to look at. We have no options menu. We can just... Get started, I guess. Or the game can freeze and crash. The game has crashed entirely. That is not helpful. Oh, no. Hold on. <laughs> Do we have a loading screen? Can... IBS see the game? There is something going on here and it is not good. OBS, would you like to capture this again? <laughs> OBS is not having it done. Oh, there we go. Now, can we get the game audio, please, OBS? Yes, this icon indicates when your game's progress has been saved. Oh, my lord. Okay, here we go. More of that music again. Yes. Really bad logos. Let's go. Come on. Hello? I just hit space there to get out of that, and... Right. Is this more like... like what? My god, what the f... Okay, this is... Bug to hell. Okay, so what we had earlier was just a launcher, and now we've got the actual game? Well, that explains why OBS freaked out. Because it can't... Lost one process, opened a new process. Confuse the hell out of everyone. <laughs> well, me and OBS. So what do we have? Settings. Audio. Yes, let's turn that music volume down. A bit. Come on, let me adjust that. Uh, oh god, there's Beebs chatter. Tell me whether Beebs is a chatterbox or not during gameplay. Alright, okay, fair enough. Right. Start new game, come on. Select your campaign. Oh, so long, I select your camera. Now you're an experienced player and comfortable with cameras. Pick manual. Need a bit of help or guiding hand. Step pick auto. Don't worry, you can toggle this in game anytime it took. What the f? Sure, let's go with auto. Oh my jank. Well, the loading screens are not coping well. <laughs> Okay, so what we got here? 2D sprites in a 3D area. Moving around. Okay, yep, WASD. So, yeah, we've definitely got 2D sprites in a Sam I 3D world. So, yeah, we can move around with WAS and D. Look around with the mouse. Look. Oh my god, okay. Oh, yeah? Well, I didn't expect to see a chump like you while sleeping either, but here we are. Oh, those vo that voice acting. That's special. Okay. <laughs> you got spunk again. I'll give you that. I got more than that coming your way, dingus. It's time for my butt to sit on your throne. Sure, sure. Yeah, right I What the fuck was that all about? Um, what's this? Uh, just a lan fiery lantern? Oh my lord, this character movement is special. Can hold control to walk slowly. Why would I ever want to do that? Oh no, hang on. Did that say hold or did that say toggle? No, oh, it just says adjust. Well, it's definitely a toggle. 
two toggle auto camera yep we can see that in the top right camera zoom with okay middle mouse wheel does less get some camera zoom fair enough oh, why would you do that camera yeah this is let's toggle the cameras so, so it's manual space regular jump tap and hold to jump high oh god this is so slidey you're going to do a platform with oh fuck okay we've got a double jump well that just saved us there i didn't even see that yeah onwards yeah double jump jump again in the air no i why would i want to look at that close again All right. Oh, hold to control to dive. Hold the button to dive underwater. So our character can swim. That's be successfully better than most AAA games. Hold space to rise up and left click hold to dive rocket. Rocket through the water by controlling the camera. Right. Fair enough. That's one way of doing it. <laughs> Is this? supposed to be funny or supposed to be cringe because it's definitely achieving cringe yeah i can really do without the sarcasm buddy but you're doing so well yes you are yes you are yep just still my camera again wall jump space oh god jump against the wall to slide down and jump off it only works in human form oh yes Hold on, I'm trying here. Yeah, I don't know why. What? It, it does this only work once? Okay, yeah, you do have to be holding the appropriate arrow direction. Let's do it again. Alrighty, jump and flutter spin. Space and hold shift. Jump and spin the air to cover extra distance. You fall slow during a spin too. Right, fair, okay. Apparently, it did not jump far enough. So what was that saying over there? Double jump and then flutter spin. Well, let's try that. Yes, that we made at that time. So jump, space, space, shift, yep. Oh, super jump. If you don't double jump... If you don't double jump, but spin first and then jump out of the spin, you'll perform a very long super jump. Hold last jump input until you land to bounce. Wow. So space, shift, and space again. Right, there we go. Yep, and we hold it and bounce. Is everything you learn to climb this tower? Oh, okay. Ah. Okay, if you just press space without worrying about key inputs, it works a lot better. Yeah, watch the show. Look at the circuit of the show many times exactly where you are. Yep, fair enough. Whoa, that's so slidey. Oh, fuck me. I'd like... To, I'm not sure whether to blame me or the game for that one. Oh, fuck me. Who decided to do a semi-3D platformer? So what? Yeah, this. Yeah, there we go. So we've achieved it this time. Now we need to wait for our platform to come back. Oh, that's clearly something going on with that house. Right. So what's over here? Every... Oh, cleverly combined moves. Is that what they're waffling about? Yes. Okay, is that what they want us to do? Combine a wall jump, regular jumps, double jump, and then their spinning gliding thing. And do they want us to do us that then? Aha, I have arrived at the top. Tab, hold to claim turf. Flag, place your own checkpoints so you can teleport between them. Let me put this right here. And they've kidnapped my mouse again. Uh, teleport. Right, where, where's the teleport taking me? Okay. 
back to this start. Fair enough. So like, where the hell does it want us to go from here? Camera hints. The camera will make the show you points of interest. Yeah, that's a pain in the ass. This will cause a slide. You've got limited control during. Well, let's do a slide. And oh, we found cake. But and it was not a lie. Set and teleport to checkpoints. Hold tab. Then press E. Set another checkpoint and interact with it to teleport between previously set checkpoints. Right, so press tab. Yep, okay. And E gets us back here, right I. And it forcibly holds my camera over here, right. And the flag is making stupid flappy noises, fair enough. Yeah, I've acquired my new platform. Oh, this cringe guy again. Easy, buddy. Just you wait. Once I'm done with this weird dream I'm having. You think this is your dream? <laughs> you don't stand a chance, Bert. No one can even cheer you up. Oh, and this time we just got a big exclamation mark as dialogue. Whatever. Charge punches, right. Hold the button to charge your punch and aim with your camera. The longer you charge, the bigger the impact from releasing the punch. And what's this? Oh, it's just a weighted platform. So can we punch through this? Oh, we're going Super Saiyan. And that achieved absolutely nothing. Fair enough. Well, let's go down on the way to platform. No, I need to... Ah. I need to push these boxes. And I do that with the charge punch? Yes. Apparently I do. Ah, I must need to put two of them down there. At least. Fair enough. Oh my god, this squealing every time you want to change direction. Which you wouldn't, wouldn't be such a problem if it wasn't so fucking slidey. <laughs> Yes, it's down there. You're going to do something? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, jab punches. Quickly and continually tap the button for small consecutive it. punches that you can do while moving around. Right. So... Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Just punch the bowling balls until they all fall in the hole. Which, again, would be less of an issue if the... Right, can we turn that off? They said they sh we should be able to. Is it in controls? Oh, this. <clears throat> yeah, well, where's the option to turn off stealing my camera? I swear they said there was one. Is it under gameplay? And da, 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 da. Um, oh, manual focus cam, yes. So what do we have through here? Charge punch. Hold to charge hold to charge punch to deflect bullets, right. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Not if I just get slapped, so... Oh. Well, apparently that's not working so well. Oh, okay. So it doesn't need to be fully charged, just a little charge. What do we have here? Punch and spin and com... Oh my lord, we've got combat. So hold the punch button and then hold shift. Use your punch or jab to force enemies into red spikes. Spin your enemies to stun them or to make them weaker to punch. Right, so... Oh, oh we forgot we're in a combat zone. Look! Oh, we, we can only spin for a little bit, can we? And why can I... What is going on here? I... <laughs> this is awful. Okay, that's a bumper, is it? 
Oh, did it get punched into it? Hey! We won and we get a really stupid thumbs up. And this is just a tutorial. Anything with this color will KO you and enemies. Yep, yeah, so the bright and annoying red. Oh, whoa. What the frack are you doing, game? Look for sweets. Press 1. Points to our sweets are nearby. Oh, okay. Over this way somewhere. Oh, we found another piece of cake. And the camera just can't help itself. I don't get it. Lollipop equals check. Does that mean we've found all the sweets? Maybe. Well, either way, I think we've got an exit to the area up there. Yeah, here we go. Oh my god, this guy again. Just you wait. Just you. Oh my god, really? Oh lord. And once again it catches when it changes to the loading screen, which is laggy. The demon world is inhabited by all kinds of nasty people. It's separated into Turks and their gang leaders. But none stand a chance to the Demon King himself. I say it's time to kick his sorry butt out of here. Again, it seems... Uh, it loves to freeze before it, because it seems to need to preload its loading screen, which is special. Ah, dear. Ah, oh, she's sleeping again, is she? King taunted me in my dreams. Well, what? You think it was actually him? I don't know, but I'm more pumped than ever to kick his butt. <laughs> Sounds about right. Good thing I figured out exactly who's butt to kick first. Head up to the town square to work the large bridge. How does that connect? Were they, were they pre planning some kind of takeover? How does he know these things already? in front of you but alas to power it on you'll need to collect batteries yeah. first and the apaka desert gang has a bunch of them so turn left and enter that portal and you'll be their turf leader in no time apaka desert. All right, let's wreck the apaka desert gang alternatively let's not i i think we will leave it here for this game it's only been about a 20 minute look at it, but we've gone through the whole tutorial and I think that's enough to learn everything we need to know. The art style is freaking awful. 2D sprites in a poorly done 3D world. Oh, we've got idle animations and she is an obnoxious selfie taker. Fantastic. But the controls are just awful. The... the squarely turn around it is obnoxious especially considering that it's so slidey that you have to make multiple adjustments to get where you want to go like you press and and you just seem to slide it's ridiculous but the jumping is questionable like at least the buttons seem to work when you press them which is a bit oh, an improvement over some games but the combat system seems weird as hell and that doesn't seem to work properly I, I can't and the voice acting and writing those voice actors nails on chalkboard anybody and the writing's just ridiculous I don't know who the target demographic for this is 
but apparently it's 14 year olds. Yeah, that's probably about it. And from the game art, like the, the way they advertise it, you would get no impression that this is what the game was like from the like the Steam editor or anything. This is just ridiculous. I, I'm, there's no chance in hell I'll ever play this again. <laughs> and I don't recommend you play it either. I am Bezik. Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video and made it this far, do leave a like or and subscribe. Otherwise, we will see you all next time.